And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid the coups and the crises, there are many positive stories from Africa that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Our story today is from Nigeria. Few creatures strike fear like the scorpion, but in Nigeria, they are more than just a threat. Here, their venom has become a valuable commodity and a thriving business. Contrary to popular belief, scorpion venom is used in medicines and cosmetics. Thanks to hard work and innovation, Nigeria is turning one of nature's most feared creatures into a global success story. Our next report gets you more details. Scorpions, one of the most feared creatures on the planet. Their sting can send shivers down your spine. But in Nigeria, they're doing more than lurking in the dark. Here, their venom isn't just a danger, it's a gold mine. On a farm in Lagos, over 10,000 scorpions are carefully milked for their venom, a substance worth millions in the global market. Contrary to what most people think, scorpion venom isn't just for scares, it's a scientific treasure. It's used in pharmaceuticals, biotech and even cosmetics. Scorpion venom is packed with proteins, enzymes and peptides, key ingredients that could revolutionize medicine. It's being researched for cancer treatments, pain relief and even neurological disorders. But milking these tiny creatures is no easy feat. It takes thousands of extractions just to collect a tiny droplet worth selling. We have made our research to the extent that we have been, we have been able to extract. Because to extract only is not easy. We've, we've, we've met some people online, different countries. Some people have this company they cannot extract. One gallon, which is equivalent to around 3.4 liters, is about 10 million US dollars. To get even two meals is a challenge. You know, you can't, you have, you probably have to, uh, you know, milk about thousands of scorpions to have something tangible to sell. Twice a month, farm manager Mohammed Usman carefully harvests venom from two of the most sought after species, the death stalker and the emperor scorpion. Each drop is stored under strict conditions, waiting for buyers willing to pay a fortune. But here's the twist. Scorpion farmers aren't just battling the sting, they're facing a bigger threat, technology. With advances in AI and synthetic biotechnology, scientists may soon replicate venom compounds in labs, which could send the demand crashing. If in the next future we can have a good number of databases, the yeah, number of database that we can now synthesize some of these um, pure compounds or these active ingredients from venom in the lab, it's going to reduce the demand from the uh, you know uh, natural farmers from the farmers, and as, as a result, once the demand is being reduced, the price is also is will also go down. For now, the Lagos farm is playing the long game. After a year of careful milking, they haven't even filled a gallon. But they're betting that patience will pay off. Patience, precision and thousands of tiny venomous creatures. It's a high stakes game, but in this farm, so fear funny. is just another business opportunity. Greeting you with aloha and namaste. No, I, I love India. Presence, uh, occupation of a territory by another country pertains to India. What we saw in Kashmir. The Prime Minister Modi. How do you see Trump's America? Yes, the current administration behaves differently from the previous administration. Are you saying that there are foreign powers who are trying to bring down the current government in yes, Syria? Exactly. Iran, maybe Russia too.
okay. Prime Minister Modi committed to our South-South, you know, corporations. For not over 50%. Is Ukraine prepared to pay the price for that peace? No compromises at the cost of territorial integrity and sovereignty.